well, why don't you take a sabbatical from voiceover? And I was like, what? This is in the beginning of October. October through the end of the year is one of the busiest times mm -hmm. for commercial VO. And we just did a home remodel. We were not making an income from Atlanta voiceover studio. And so that's when I was like, you know what? Maybe I should try and take a sabbatical. I, I just knew that one of my agents was going to drop me too when I told them this. All my agents supported me. From then to the end of the year, I did no voiceover auditions. I would take half days or meet a friend for lunch. And hey, look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. The crazy thing about it is, is that so financially, totally fine. I want to say that to, to encourage everybody that is building. And like you were saying, Tim, like just building your business over time and planting those seeds that when you do that, this is the kind of harvest that you're going to get. You know what I mean?